Hi, my name's Bo, and I'm here to introduce you to the Chariot 3 CV861 RSBP vacuum. The Chariot 3 CV861 is a 34 inch stand on vacuum capable of vacuuming over 40,000 square feet per hour on either hard or soft surfaces. It uses a HEPA rated vacuum bag to help improve indoor air quality. In fact, the Chariot 3 CV861 is so productive, it can easily replace three to four people vacuuming carpet with conventional wide area vacuums or someone dust mopping a hard surface with a 60 inch dust mop. The unit also operates at 66 decibels, making it ideal for vacuuming in noise sensitive areas. Let's begin our overview of the Chariot 3 CV861 by taking a look at the control panel. On the left side of the control panel, you'll find an hour meter, horn, emergency stop switch, selector for the direction of travel, and the key ignition. On the right side of the control panel, you'll find the battery meter, the bag full indicator, and the Karcher Easy Dial. The Karcher Easy Dial controls all the functions of your Chariot 3 CV861. It has two transport modes, two vacuum modes, and two eco-efficiency modes. The eco-efficiency modes operate at 66 decibels. Next, let's take a look at the battery access on the Chariot 3 CV861. It's designed to give you complete access to the batteries for maintenance and can even be paired with our battery exchange system so that you can easily swap battery packs to cover large areas or multiple shifts. With the cover removed, you can see the large on-off switch on the left side. This is the main switch, and it's a good idea to turn it to the off position during charging. One other note is that you can outfit your Chariot 3 CV861 with an optional onboard charger, which will allow you to charge it at any conventional outlet. At the back of the Chariot, you'll see the stand-on platform with two pedals. The smaller yellow pedal is for controlling the speed. The larger black switch is the operator presence switch. It tells the machine that you're actually on it and ready to operate. When you're operating the Chariot and you lift your foot off of the yellow speed control, the machine will come to a complete stop. The parking brake will automatically activate. To disengage the parking brake, step back onto the platform and press either direction on the direction selector. The lid over the vacuum chamber contains a place to store an extra bag. To remove a bag for changing it, simply pull at the cardboard piece, unseat it from the vacuum tube. To replace, do so gently, but make sure that it's seated completely. Finally, let's take a look at the brushes. The Chariot 3 CV861 comes standard with universal brushes, which allow you to vacuum either hard or soft surfaces. However, if you're going to be using your unit exclusively on a hard or soft surface, there are specific brushes available for both of these surfaces. The brushes can be accessed by pushing the clips on the side out and lifting the door. To put the brushes back in, Make sure they're seated properly in the housing, and then make sure the lines on the cap are running north and south on both brushes. Once seated and engaged, flip the door down and lock back into place. Next, let's take a look at the vacuum tray designed to catch large debris and keep it from going through the hose. The tray is designed to allow smaller debris to move towards the center and be recovered into the vacuum bag. This tray will need to be emptied occasionally during operation. To access the tray, pull on the tab, drop the tray, and slide it out. To replace, slide the tray in and along the bottom of the housing, and push up once it's seated to lock back into place. Finally, the 13-inch side broom allows you to safely recover soils along the baseboard without damaging walls. This saves time and labor by reducing the need to come behind and do detail vacuuming. So there you have it. You now know everything that you need to know to safely and effectively operate and maintain 
your Chariot 3 CV861 RSBP vacuum.